Hello guys, Bingo Cat here and welcome back to my series of using old operating systems in 2016. So today's operating system that we're going to be looking at is Windows Vista 64-bit edition. Now the, for those of you who don't know, Windows Vista was released at the end of 2006 slash early 2007 to, well, wide fanfare I guess because it was the first new operating system for Microsoft in over five years. However, Windows Vista was criticized for being buggy um, for being buggy, for being annoying, for just for not supporting as many machines as they said it would, etc. And so Windows Vista got its reputation tarnished and turned out to not be a really good selling operating system. Now, when Windows Vista Service Pack 1 was released in 2008, that virtually fixed almost all the issues that Windows Vista had, but the damage to the Windows brand and Windows Vista was already done. Now Windows 7, which was released in 2009, is basically just Windows Vista with all the problem, problems fixed and a new name. So let's go ahead and use Windows Vista. Support for this operating system will expire in 2017. So let's power this on. And boot up, once again, it's going to be really fast because it's in VMware Workstation for Windows. So yeah, let's just wait for it to boot up. Oh look, it's applying Windows updates. Forgot I had some leftover updates. As you can see, the startup sound is literally the exact same as it is in Windows 7, Windows 8.1, and Windows 10. And this is Windows Vista business. Windows Vista is famous for being one of the, for probably the Windows version with the most amount of versions of Windows release, like there was Windows Vista Home, Windows Vista Business, Windows Vista Ultimate, Windows Vista Startup, Windows Vista Enterprise, etc. And consumers were confused over which one they should get, obviously. So when Windows 7 was released, they simplified it a little bit, but not enough. But nowadays, there's pretty much only, I think, a few versions of Windows you can get. Like Windows 10, there's Windows 10, Windows 10 Pro, and Windows 10 Enterprise. Alright, so let's type in my super super passcode and wait for the login. Alright, it boots up to the Windows Vista desktop. As you can see, the backgrounds, I guess what they call, is it called an Aurora? I don't really know. As you can see, it looks pretty similar to the desktop of today. The icons, for example, are almost, are the exact same in Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 and an early builds of Windows 10. Now here's something that isn't really present in any other version of Windows. Here we have the Windows Vista sidebar, which is where it contains all the Windows gadgets. Now the gadgets were available in Windows 7, but it didn't have this nice sidebar here that you could store the gadgets in. And gadgets were removed in Windows 8 for quote-unquote security reasons. Um, but yeah, there's nice gadgets here you can add, like you can tell time, you can view RSS feed headlines, pictures of that's on your computer, you can add more gadgets right here, like you can add a slideshow, you can add a picture puzzle, notes, clock, I like CPU meter, that's still a really useful gadget. As you can see almost all my CPU is being used right now, now it's going back down. So. Now besides that, as far as the way Windows Vista looks, Windows Vista supported Windows Arrow, Arrow, bleh, Windows Arrow and was the first operating system by Microsoft that Windows Arrow. Windows 7 also famously, more famously, had Windows Arrow, but this was championed as being a, a unique or a really decent feature of Windows Vista. The aesthetics were beautiful. Like look at this, the transparent glass, you gotta admit, even though it is almost 10 years old, it's still pretty nice. And the one thing you'll notice that's different about Arrow from Windows Vista to Windows 7 is that when you full screen the window, the translucency disappears. That does not happen in Windows 7. And even the test where translucency disappears when you full screen a window. Now, because of the high graphical requirements of Windows Arrow, Many computers back in 2006 slash 2007 couldn't one run Windows Arrow. As a result, people criticized Microsoft for just making this a heavily graphics advanced operating system. But luckily, you can turn Windows Arrow off. 
but a lot of people were disappointed that they had to turn Windows Arrow off to even begin with. So yeah, you go, you do that by, um, was it here? I just went there though. Oh, you have to open the classic appearance and choose, you, there's Windows Vista Basic, which is basically the same as Arrow, but without the fancy translucency effects. And then there's Standard, which looks like Windows 98, and same thing with Classic. Then there's always a new fancy high, old, I can't talk today. The high contrast modes, I, so let's just switch back to regular Windows Arrow, and I could have just clicked cancel, but I didn't, and click OK. So as far as program support goes on here, it still supports almost all modern antiviruses, and it supports modern web browsers such as Chrome and Firefox. As far as I'm aware, Internet Explorer, it supports up to version... Let's see. This is Internet Explorer 7, but you can definitely download new versions of Internet Explorer. I think it goes up to Internet Explorer 10, and then Internet Explorer 11 was Windows 7 and Windows 8.1 exclusive. And, you know, now Windows 10. Um, games. As far as games go, most major companies have stopped supporting Windows Vista for games around the same time they stopped supporting Windows XP for games. And as far as other programs go, basically, if you can't run it on Windows XP, you can't run it on Windows Vista, because most companies drop support for XP and Vista at the same time due to Windows Vista's low popularity. Like, popularity for Windows Vista is probably... I last time I checked the numbers were around 4%, where Windows XP was closer to 20%. But, yeah, so long story short, Windows Vista was never that popular. Even in its heyday, it only had like 20% of the desktop operating system share and it's not popular anymore that's for sure so let's go through the programs that windows vista came with by default it has windows calendar as far as i know this is the only version of windows that's came with windows calendar but don't quote me on that it has windows contacts defender fax and scan windows mail media player the version included is Win media player 11 which is still useful today and then Windows Photo Gallery, this is nice. And Windows Movie Maker, this is nice. This actually wasn't included with Windows 7 or 8.1 or 10. But despite Movie Maker and Photo Gallery, even in the newest version showing its age, I really like them. They're still both really useful. Let's close out of here. Um, under accessories, stuff like Notepad, once again, the exact same pretty much that's in Windows 10. So, you can still definitely use it on Windows Vista. Um, WordPad, pretty much the same. Windows Explorer, Welcome Center, Sync Center, etc. Come, this version of Windows comes with the sound recorder. This version of Windows was the first to introduce the snipping tool, which I really like. It's probably one of the most popular features in Windows 7, 8.1, and Windows 10, which is which, if you don't know, the snipping tool is just a screenshot tool. This version of Windows was also the first to introduce Windows PowerShell, which, if you don't know, is basically the replacement to command line. But even though Windows PowerShell is now 10 years old, most people just still use a command line. Um, extras and upgrades. This is just where Microsoft wants you. Well, you see this right here, Windows Marketplace. This is basically Microsoft's early attempt at the App Store, I'm pretty sure, but it doesn't load anymore anyways. And let's see what else. Windows website. Now, it has games in here, but it looks like it doesn't come with any games by default, at least on the business version of Windows. It might come in the consumer version of Windows. Then it comes with Windows Remote Assistance, invite a friend or technical support to remotely view your computer. Then Backup Center, really nice. Startup folder is empty. Let's take a look at the control panel. So as you can see, this is basically Windows XP's control panel, just reskinned the fit with Windows Arrow. And as you can see, the top here is a little bit different. You don't have as many menus or options anymore, but that is totally fine with me. And a Windows Vista control panel. Almet, this, I've never liked this kind of view. It's always been confusing. 
to me. I've always liked classic view. You can see all the settings at once. And this version of Windows comes, I don't know what Windows card space is. To see your edit card data before you send it. So what is this, business cards? Oh, no, personal cards identify you to sites and online services so you can log in and register quickly. I don't know about that, but, and then people near me. This is a feature I've not really seen in any other version of Windows. Type the name you want other people to see, admin. Hmm. Make my picture available, allow invitations. Ha. Huh. And these people nearby who are using computers and allows them to send you invitations such as Windows meeting space. Sounds interesting, but no one I know uses Windows Vista anyways. And then it comes with most of the other regular stuff that past versions of Windows and future versions of Windows comes with. And then view 32-bit control panel items. Now this is only an option I've seen so far in Windows Vista. And the only 32-bit control panel item is this, which I don't get because there's also a 64-bit version right here, I'm guessing. Because why else would it be a list here, am I right? So yeah, now let's take a look at Windows Explorer. Click computer. As you can see, this is basically the exact same as a Windows 7 Windows Explorer, and it's pretty similar to the XP version of Windows Explorer, but once again, a lot of the options are gone. This menu, the expanding folders here are by default now. But you can still put legacy menus up here, I believe. Like, let's see, the menu bar is back, but you can't really drag any of the toolbars anymore. And they've kept that true to Windows 10. Um, about Windows. And this, yeah, this is pretty much pretty similar to the File Explorer we know and use today. Mm, anything else? Let's close out of here. And let's see, default programs. This is the first version of Windows, by the way, that introduces Start Search, which if you don't know, it's basically the version of Search where you can type something like Internet Explorer, and it'll find it instantly, unlike Windows XP, where you either had to use the run command and know the exact name of the program you want, or you had to wait for what seems like the five year file search in Windows Explorer. So yeah, anything else I wanna mention? Oh yeah, this is interesting. In the Windows Vista menu, unlike literally every other version of Windows, the default buttons are lock this computer and puts your computer in a low power state instead of shut down and log off. This is the only version of Windows that I've seen those two buttons there instead of shut off or lag out. I mean, they're still here, they're just hidden in a menu. So yeah, this is basically Windows Vista for you guys. So to answer the question, is Windows Vista usable in 2016? The answer is yes and no. Yes, if all you're doing is basic activities such as basic web browsing or you know just using notepad or paint or etc but no if you want to run any modern programs such as modern games modern video editing software etc because windows vista won't support it now windows vista is still supported on most hardware but it won't be for long as like for example microsoft announced that skylake pcs won't run on older versions of windows Originally, they were going to axe off Windows 7 and 8.1 for that, but they backtracked. But, as far as Windows Vista support goes, that's a big N-O. So yeah, basically, after this year, I wouldn't plan to run Windows Vista at all. And if you can right now, get off of Windows Vista and upgrade to Windows 7, 8.1, or 10. So yeah, let me go ahead and log out now. And you heard the shutdown sound, it's the exact same as it is in Windows 7, 8.1, and 10. And yeah, that was Windows Vista for you guys. That's basically all. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Hope to see you guys next time.